more interesting stories again. An exciting day for things like space weather. So first thing we're looking at here is the jet stream scenario of the Western world. And look at how chaotic the jet streams are in the Northern Hemisphere. Totally all over the place, incoherent, blowing north and south, blowing backwards in some areas, such as over the North Atlantic there. A little more coherent in the Southern Hemisphere, but also doubled up and tripled up over places like the Southern Pacific Ocean. Let's take a look at surface winds of the Western world. There are surface winds from nullschool.net. We've also got some heavy wind forecasts for places like Texas. We'll get to it in a minute. First surface winds of the eastern world. We're continuing to see some strong low pressure systems here south in between Australia and Antarctica down there. A powerful clockwise rotation in the southern hemisphere indicates a low pressure system. Clockwise rotations in the northern hemisphere indicate an anticyclone and a high pressure system. Here are the jet streams of the eastern world and some extreme kinks in the southern hemisphere and a powerful low here in the central Pacific as well. Winds from severe storms could rival Cat 2 hurricane. So expecting winds of like 100 miles per hour in those locations shown in red. Also some hail reports coming in for the past 24 hours. Some 3-inch hail showing up in Texas. Leave us a comment. Let us know if you've seen any severe weather. Feel free to post about it at smashamash.com slash forum. It's still free. Smashamash.com slash forum. Set up an account. And we may share your content on ours. Next, we'll take a look at lightning. We saw a severe thunderstorm here in eastern Pennsylvania. We're located in Lehigh Valley. And I was actually using lightningmaps.org. Check out our Instagram account. You can see some severe lightning scenarios shown on there. Hey, Kansas City, there's thunder rolling in. Also, Des Moines. Some significant thunderclaps to your west. Anyway, there's lightningmaps.org, the full earth map. And here's the NASA Ghost Lightning Mapper. And I just want to check the life of the stream real quick. And everything looks A-OK -okay. here at the Smash News Network least busted name in news, we like to also show where pressure cells are. And you can see this significant low pressure system here. It's more of a pressure gradient than a powerful low, but because of the higher pressure region around it, it is a significant pressure gradient there that is currently centered over over Iowa. And we're going to advance this into the European forecast for tomorrow. There's the European forecast for pressure at 12 noon Eastern Daylight Time tomorrow. Again, Smash staff and I are located in Lehigh Valley, Pennsylvania, right about there. And here's a U.S. Doppler radar map. A lot of moisture there in the central U.S. right now, west of the Mississippi. Here's what's going on in the cloud layer. And here's your water vapor map. And it looks like the jet stream is going to be influencing this moisture here a bit, providing somewhat of an impulse. Although this, you may see this turn a bit to the northeast as a result of colliding with this dry, massive air. So this is a high pressure right here, at least comparatively speaking. It may cause a bit of deflection. You may see this moisture move a little bit more to the northeast as opposed to due east. And it looks like it's already actually making a bit of a turn there. You can see it on the Doppler, as well as the cloud layer. And that's today's meteorology segment. Thanks for tuning in. We'll have to say goodbye to Twitch as we continue on with our bonus features in the daily space weather.